What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're here to bring you guys some more Pirate Rumble action today with one of the other brand new legends that we had got recently. You know we already made a couple of videos using Kozuki Odin in some PvP. It was a lot of fun but now let's go ahead and change courses over to the Dex team and today we're going to be covering Inuarashi Dog Storm, Sulong Dog Storm and let's go ahead and check him out in PvP in this video today. Day. So his rumble ability is going to give your dex teammates level 7 health and level 7 attack However, there's an added effect of if Cad Viper is on the team He also will go ahead and give level 5 attack up to himself Which is like it's like it's kind of good. It's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad But it does require Cad Viper to be on the team, which is Pretty bad because having to rely on that really does suck But then you've also got the rumble special which will go ahead and target Dex teammates for level 7 attack up and level 4 defense up and Targets three Dex type teammates for 1.2 times counter stance Then it says once again if cat viper is on the team three quick enemies are targeted for two times his attack as damage He also will completely evade damage over time Which is very good against legend king on a quick team for example, which can apply that so so it is good that he can actually avoid that but overall it's a pretty good set of skills but it does really rely on cat viper being on the team for it to be actually useful this team that we have here doesn't really facilitate that however looking at it we can potentially just change it so that we just like have cat viper on the bench I, I don't know if that actually counts i suppose we're going to find out so let's go ahead and actually take off Whitebeard and add in a cat viper character that actually might be a little bit better we'll just add in the pvp one for for the hell of it and that should work technically all of those effects should be active it doesn't really say that it has to be one of the main characters it can definitely just be a sub character so with all of this, let's go ahead and see what we can find in today's PvP matches. So here we are with our first match of the video and it is going to be a quick team. I really want to see how this team is able to handle it. Just so, so excited to jump into this one. Of course, we are building a relatively offensively based Dex team. Um, so I think we should be able to handle this team pretty comfortably because like most of these characters in our team just have the passive damage reduction versus quick. And I mean, like quick isn't really that scary of a team anymore considering, you know, Wano Law and how offensive the Dex based teams are now in Pyrumble. Rumble really not worried about it at all and have a look at that attack power on dogstorm he has level 28 attack at the start of the quest that is absolutely mind-blowing so he is going to do a lot of damage because now that cad viper is on the team he will get all like the, the massive buffs that he normally would get meaning that he's going to do it like three hits or, or target three uh quick allies for quick enemies for two times his attack unfortunately the the quick guys are stacking their specials a lot here so this is going to hurt but luckily we get a special off here good damage coming in there from luchi and of course we have borsalino fixed damage bit of defense bit of attack so dogstorm once again he's going to be hitting real hard Good damage versus Luffy getting the KO. This is going to hurt from the Kaido. We do tank it though. And Moria actually might get a couple KOs. Let's see. Yes, sir. All right, here's Dogstorm though. Here's Dogstorm. Get the win. Level 40 attack. Bro, look at that. Level 40 attack. Yo. He did over 10,000 damage towards those guys. That is absurd. Holy. Yo, that was pretty based. That was pretty based. Hey, yo, yo, the, the quick team, why, why even run a quick defense team anymore these days, right? I mean, the Dex team's so strong. Just imagine if we had Legend Cat Viper on the same team as well. Bro, it would have been done and dusted like 20 seconds ago. Man, that was an impressive showing against the quick defense team. So I'm just genuinely curious to see how we're going to perform against, uh, I wouldn't say it's the, actually it is a relatively optimal side team here. Um, let's jump into it. I, I, I don't think it's going to go too well, but hey, you know, we have a team here. We might as well give it a shot and see what kind of happens, right? One thing that is going to be a bit worrying though, is the fact that Dogstorm does not do any damage with his special against the enemy team here, because he will only do damage against quick enemies. So none of them are going to be quick in this instance here, but he will still provide some, um, some, some buffs to our team, which is good. And we'll still apply a counter stance to some of our teammates, which is going to be nice against this side team. So hopefully we're able to launch our specials as 
quick as we possibly can. Ideally, Luchi. We want Luchi and Moria to, to be our heavy hitters. You know, Moria being a PvP rare recruit is going to get KO'd pretty quickly. And unfortunately, we do have a lot of slashes on this team because the Cavendish, Moria, and Dogstorm are all slashes, which means that they all actually get debuffed from NL and also from Rebecca. Dogstorm coming in with the counters and all the buffs to our team there. Once again, Dogstorm with so much attack. It is such a shame that we really can't abuse it in this in this instance here. Straw Hats, what are they going to do? A bit of damage, healing, action bind. You hate the action bind, especially on Gecko Moria. We really wanted his special to come through. Well, he's dead and so is Dogstorm. So, well, it was fun while it lasted, man. It was fun while it lasted. I don't really think there's any way that we could possibly win this match here unless if we get extremely lucky with special activations and dodging, but we'll have to wait and see. Here we go with Luchi, though. Defense down and damage is going to be super useful. Good damage, actually. Pretty respectable damage coming in there. Zoro will not launch just yet. Cavendish just misses out on the KO. It would have been super good if he got that. Zoro would have been nice if he hit the Straw Hats. This should kill the Straw Hats, though. Nice, so now we're down to five, so we'll see what happens here. Cavendish is going to be dying very, very soon. Um, hopefully when Zora comes back, he actually is able to launch his special. Um, and it is lower than 50 seconds, so that should actually be pretty good for us here. That's really good. Unfortunately, Borsalino and Cavendish are now down. And, you know, of course we had Gat Fiber on the team for the purposes of Dogstorm. Here's Zora. Oh, we actually got a KO on, on, uh, on Yamato and Rebecca. Yeah, this is a lot closer than I was expecting. Unfortunately, Luchi went down. That would have been so good if we got that. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, the 2,000 fix and all those debuffs on our characters. Oh, that's not very good. Lord, don't hit Soba. No. Oh, he's just up. No. Oh, no. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Oh, man. Dude, it was actually a lot closer than what I was expecting. You know what? Even though we did get the L, I'm not really too phased because it is unfortunate that Dogstorm doesn't really do any damage against non-quick characters. If he still just targeted three enemies, any enemies for attack, we probably would have won this match. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. And now the last team that we're going to be checking in against is going to be the boss battle, the single match boss battle here. So this is going to have a lot of quick enemies, of course, and this is actually a pretty decent team. Like, this is pretty tricky to get through, but because it is a full quick team, this is where we want to see Dogstorm do his work. And this is going to be really good, because currently in PvP, I'm actually not ranked that high. I've already made myself into the championship season, so I've been taking it easy for blocks B and block C. So it's actually kind of hard for me to find really decent quick teams. Uh, in terms of defense, but this is going to be a good one to trial against. So we really want to see Dogstorm get to those really high levels of attack and then output so much damage and hopefully get quite a few KOs. So hopefully we can see, we can see that today. And also this does showcase King on the enemy side of the field and the fact that Dogstorm actually evades damage over time. It's so, so good that he actually has that here. Uh, Moria just missed out on his special activation, which would have been good for defense down on the enemy. And Dogstorm took two of those hits. A bit of paralysis on Dogstorm as well, which really does suck. Nice to get a bit of defense and attack buff here. So Dogstorm, when he does launch his special, he's going to hit ridiculously hard. And it's actually kind of nice. We've got really good defense, to be honest. Really, really, really good defense. Good damage there on the king. Huge hit. And who are you targeting? Targeting Luchi. That's not good. We kind of want Luchi to stay up as much as we possibly can. Oh, we're about to get Dogstorm about to attack. That's huge. Good damage there from Luchi getting the double KO. All right, here we go. 33 attack. Oh, and we got a triple KO. Oh, is that a double? I think it was a double KO. Either way, that was really good damage there from Dogstorm. I don't think we're going to get him back for another special activation before he uh, before this match ends because we are just tearing through this team here. Only one left. Shiryu somehow staying alive, but dies due to damage over time, it looked like, or a counter. I think it was a counter that actually killed him there. That's huge. So a very, very clean victory against the Treasure Cruise Master difficulty boss fight. So all in all, it definitely feels like the Dogstorm is, is focused around taking on mono quick enemies. If you're up against a quick team and you have Dogstorm and you have a Cad Viper on your team, he's going to destroy them. Going to be a huge, huge asset to your teams. He's got a great passive as well, buffing your HP and your offensive stats to your dex allies. He's going to be really, really good in a dex offensive team, so long as you are going up, up, up against a quick team. Uh, outside of that though, at, against non-quick teams, 
he's not going to be very valuable because he doesn't do any damage with his special. He will provide a counter and will still provide some, uh, you know, some, some buffing and utility, but it's not going to be the difference between you winning and losing a match. It may even be a detriment to your team having him on a team against non-quick enemies. So just know that if you are building a team with this unit, you want to be building it ideally against quick bosses but that is going to wrap up this video today thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you guys did enjoy it make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but other than that guys i'll see you guys within the next video